Goedemorgen. It's 8 o'clock. I've been up for an hour. It's way too early for me. My system doesn't know how to cope. I'm trying to eat a little bit of yogurt. But eating when it's really early is very hard for me. This is the mango version of the stracciatella yogurt I love so much. It's nice, but stracciatella is like a hundred times better. I washed my hair just because you never know what hostel showers are like. Sometimes they're really gross, really uncomfortable, really cold. So I wanted to wash my hair here. I'll have to comb it really quick in the half an hour I still have before I have to go. And a really weird thing happened. I lost my toothbrush. This is one thing I'm a little bit of a princess about. I feel like I'm having like a dirty mouth feel. So I want to clean my mouth and then eat. Otherwise I feel like all the dirt that's in my mouth, I swallow. What do you guys do? Do you brush your teeth first and then have breakfast? Or do you have breakfast and then brush your teeth? I'm definitely a first brushing teeth, then having breakfast kind of person. But yeah, I have no idea where it is. I'm almost all packed and I haven't found it yet. I think it's like in between the bed or I've accidentally thrown it away. But it's lost and I don't know where to find it. I found my toothbrush. Wedged in between the paintings. You thought you could escape me, couldn't you? I'm pretty happy you're going to some stuff because now my suitcase closes easily instead of it being a fight to get everything in. Thanks, Yuri. I checked into the hostel four hours ago. I haven't filmed anything, I just sat there editing. I met some people that were also from the Netherlands. And now I'm gonna get some food. They have a kitchen, so I'm going to Penny's to get those potatoes I love so much again. After that I'll do some more editing, and then tonight I'm meeting a friend for drinks. I left my bike at the Airbnb, so I just came back. I had a little 20 minute walk to get it. For some reason, all the three supermarkets I tried didn't have potatoes, so I'm just gonna have something different. But I'm gonna go back to the hostel to have some food. And I was supposed to shoot with a photographer, but I didn't hear from him anymore. So I just assumed we weren't gonna shoot, but he just texted me. I have about two hours to get ready for a photo shoot. Uh. Oh guys, I've been in such a hurry. Two hours to eat get ready for a shoot and get to the location, which is like 30, 40 minutes, is not a lot of time. So I'm a little bit worried about getting late, which would be really unprofessional. So I'm gonna work my ass off to work on my makeup and stuff. I'm taking over the whole bathroom. It's just the hostel bathrooms. Everybody could walk in here, but I don't care. I'm just gonna vlog. Here you go. This look is very dark and I'm quite proud of myself for daring. Because if I fuck up, there's no more time to redo it.
Hi guys, I'm vlogging outside because I don't know if I can vlog inside of the hostel. My makeup <laughs> is everywhere. I had the most fun day. So good. I seriously had so much fun. I had to rush to the photo shoot, so I didn't really film. Then I had the shoot, which turned out to be really fun. The photographer was absolutely nice. The pictures, I think the pictures turned out amazing. I look like a damn raccoon, guys. This is pretty bad. <laughs> then I met up with a friend of mine. We had drinks and food for hours. We went to this restaurant I really wants to go called Momo's, where they sell all kinds of different dumplings and have a lot of vegan options. So I decided to treat myself. I take a really big plate with all the different Momo's and it was very tasty. And yeah, my friend and I, we just, we just drank and talked for hours and it was so nice. Today was just really great. Yeah, so let's go into the hostel and see if all my roommates are already sleeping. Up until now, I've been pretty pleased with this hostel. The only thing that really sucks is that they have no locker, so I'm carrying my laptop around in my shoulder bag, which is very bad for my back. My back really hurts now. But apart from that, it seems like a really good hostel with amazing warm showers and everything. I mean, lucky bitch. And it's not expensive. The location is amazing. I'm feeling this. If they had lockers, I'd never leave. I just, I just got into the hostel. I have to be quiet because they have an after 10 quiet room, which I love because I love to sleep and I don't like staying up all night because people are partying. So I'm gonna obey the quiet rule like a good girl. My makeup is all over the place, so I'm gonna take that off. This was the last outfit of the photo shoot and I decided to Keep it on. It's such a pretty top. I love this. I can't properly get it off. My friend asked me if I wanted to go to the Rammstein concert. Because Rammstein is playing in Berlin. And I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I really like Rammstein. But the tickets were 90 euros. So almost 100 euros. Which is way too much. So I said no. But I regret it a little bit now because it was like my one chance to see Rammstein. So I don't know why I said no, but it was just the money. I didn't want to spend all that money on one evening. But hey, I made the adult decision. <laughs> but I'm gonna go to bed, lovelies. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Thanks a bunch for watching.